When I heard you were still teaching this class. I promised you I would. You're a solid good woman, Dory Jameson. You make me sound like I'm a piece of Ethan Allen furniture. <laughs> How's Emily? She's fine. She's doing great, actually. I thought about you a lot. I mean, I imagine my doctors sending me regular bulletins about my markers and my bone marrow. And you, of course, studying, studying them beautifully. And after I got past the anger and humiliation, I thought it was remarkable how much you cared. I'm just really glad you're doing so well. Are you enjoying your classes this semester? Do you mean, have I shut down any more moms? Oh, come on, Lori. Did I say that? Yes, you did. And you'll be glad to know it clung to me. You know you're one of the great teachers here. I'm not so sure anymore. Students come to this college because of you. You sound so positive. It's a little bit disconcerting. <laughs> When my doctor told me he thought things were turning around, I made a resolution. I have to try and do things differently. <laughs> Besides, it was just too much work hating everything and everyone. But it doesn't make any sense to just suddenly start liking everything. Oh, well, I like my rabbi. What? <laughs> Take a deep breath, Lori. I'm in love with the rabbi. <laughs> If you've become born again, I don't really want oh, to hear it. Oh, come on. I already told you about it. Is that the same rabbi? He's the same rabbi. We met on a drip. We started emailing during our, my treatments. Anyways, things kind of progressed. So he won you and wooed you while you were having a bone marrow transplant. <laughs> How it is a reconstruction. Oh, really? Yes. He what does that to break mean? traditions and do things in a new way. Of course he's trying to break traditions. He's a rabbi. Seriously? <laughs> So nice. He's so incredibly nice. He's so smart. And I love him. Maybe I should call this rabbi. I'm a little Don't concerned. You dare. <laughs> oh, come on, Nancy. You know how suspicious I get of organized religion. Oh, yeah, it's actually very funny. For all your religious criticism, you were the one who always had faith in the future and the work we had to do. And as much as I envied your health, I envied your optimism even more. I can hardly say that this is an optimistic time. But it's the only time we've got, Lori. It is. I have the greatest admiration for you. But my rabbi's gonna be here any minute. Do you want to stick around? <laughs> no. Oh, come on, Lori. He's a very nice guy. I'm sure he is. But just for your sake, tell your rabbi I said shalom. <laughs>